Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips to help you remodel like a pro. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a bonus tip that's gonna help you improve your remodels, save time, and make way more money on your flips and rentals. Let's dive right in. Tip number one is don't overspend and don't underspend. When I first got into this business in 2012, I would go to the Home Depot, I would go to the Lowe's, and I would look at all of this beautiful granite and countertops and flooring and hardwood, and I would just spend, 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 spend. And although it did look good when we got the end product, a lot of times I wouldn't make back what I spent on that particular finish. So you can't overspend. But on the same token, you can't underspend. So you can't go in there and just look for the very, very cheapest countertop, the very cheapest floor, the very cheapest tile. Because when you get done with that, people are going to be able to see that and you're not going to get a premium price. You have to find a balance right in the middle. And that is where the pro makes his decisions, right in the middle, right in that sweet spot. And to illustrate this further, I've got two people that are going to help me. That is my friend, Newbie Nicole, and my other acquaintance, not really a friend, but we'll call him an acquaintance, Slumlord Sebastian. And let's cut to the B-roll. I've got my assistant, Sebastian, and my editor, Stephanie. But today, they're not Sebastian, and they're not Stephanie. We've got Slumlord <laughs> Sebastian, and we've got Newbie <laughs> Nicole. Newbie Nicole, what type of doors do you like for your remodel? I like wooden doors. Something like this, huh? Yes, like this. Wow. This is very useful. How can you see through that? Oh, can you reach that high? <laughs> so that door works even for newbie Nicole. And I like the color. I will choose this one. This is like the most expensive door in the whole store. Slumlord? What? what type of doors do you like? You don't need doors. No doors? No, no doors. I got a couple of bed sheets. Use bed sheets. How much does a bed sheet run you? Nothing. Just use. Here's what I would do as a pro. Something like this right here. It's not going to be just pure wood, I don't think. Yeah, so this is hollow. So that's going to be uh, a type of laminar. It's very light, very inexpensive. For the doors going into the bedroom, something like this is great. <music> Newbie Nicole went right over to that super expensive door. You definitely don't want to do that. But you sure as heck don't want to do what Slumlord Sebastian does and just put up sheets. I don't even know what that's about. But you want to fall right in the middle with those doors that were lightweight. They looked good, but they're a very good price. All right, tip number two is you need to remodel with broad appeal. Let's go ahead and cut to the home improvement store and see what mistakes newbie Nicole makes and what mistakes slumlord Sebastian makes. What would you do for your remodel? Well, I would do like different tones of red because I like a lot of red and I think girls are going to like red also. Slumlord Sebastian, what would you do? We don't need paint. That's, no that's paint. for suckers. <laughs> what we need <laughs> is drywall because drywall has its own paint. All right, well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> what we saw there is newbie Nicole picking out some red and pink. Woo, my goodness gracious. You are really going to limit your target audience with that. And those paints are way too expensive. Then on the flip side of the coin, we had that crazy slumlord Sebastian, and he wasn't even gonna put up any paint at all. He was just gonna leave it brick concrete and just the plain old drywall. Can you imagine that? And obviously we're not gonna do that because that's just way, way too unattractive. And you're never gonna have high demand for your rentals or your flips if they don't look great. So the pro move is to go in there and get a really nice beige or a gray or some cream colors that are just gonna go well with every single finish. They're gonna go well with uh, 
tiles, with cement, with marble, with wood, with even green plants like this. That's really where you want to be and that's how you're going to make the big bucks. Tip number three is you want to buy finishes that will last a long time and hopefully won't get too dated with their style. Let's go right back to that Home Depot and check in with newbie Nicole and slumlord Sebastian. But this time, I think he has really gone off the deep end. Newbie, what's caught your eye? Well, I love like all of these and I would maybe choose that one for the living room and put uh, like one of those smart lightning bolts that you can turn on with Alexa. Oh and wow. Things like that. That seems pretty expensive, but that would be pretty cool. Slumlord, what do you think? What would you I'm use for this? You've already got your lighting picked oh, yeah. out? What, what are those? Candles. Candles? Yeah, first one are on me. You must be in a giving spirit. What I like to do is come around here. I like to use just a nice, simple dome light. You can see those lights that newbie Nicole picked out. Number one, they were gonna be way, way too expensive, especially in a rental property. And number two, although they did look beautiful right now, in three, four, or five years, that type of style may be out. And then Slumlord Sebastian, <laughs> what was that all about? He's just gonna give his renters candles? I don't even know where to go with that. So what we want to do is when we went around the corner there and I showed you guys those dome lights that I like to use, especially for the bedrooms or the hallways, those are absolutely perfect. I put those in my rental properties in 2012. They're still functional and they still look great and they're still in style. Other examples of that are subway tile, Carrera marble, a nice white quartz, and some really rich colored hardwood. Tip number four, make sure that you buy functional finishes. I want you to pay specific attention to what newbie Nicole does here because this is something that even when I started using tile, I completely overlooked when I was finishing bathrooms. And then going over to Slumlord Sebastian, I don't even know where he's going. We tried to get him a cigar, that's what he really wanted, but I could only find him cigarettes. So I think he got pretty pissed off and he's taking it out on his finished selections. Newbie, what do you like? Well, I'm looking at that one. It would work very good for the bathroom to give like more light. It would make it look very pretty. Slumlord, what would you buy? I found something really interesting over there. Oh my gosh. This is for a bathroom tile? It's about the, half the price of the other one. It looks just like it. It's half the price of the cheap, ugly one. You somehow found one that was cheaper and uglier. What I like is something more along the lines of this. Kind of a concrete look, a darker color, and it's got a little bit of texture to it as well. So this isn't gonna be something that people would have a tendency of slip and fall. So this is a great price. It's functional, it's gonna last a long time, and it looks great. That tile that newbie Nicole picked out, it was so slick, I knew you couldn't see it on the video, but I can't even imagine what that would be like if it were actually wet. You'd have a renter go in there and boom, they'd fall right on their tail. Then of course, Slumlord Sebastian, he would just design an entire bathroom made of brick. I can't even imagine what that would look like. I doubt he'd even put in a toilet. But that tile that I selected, that was really the best of all worlds. It looked pretty good. It was a good price definitely functional. It's something that would stay in style for a long time and it would be extremely durable. I have made tons of mistakes like this in my seven years of remodeling property. Not only with slick tile, but I put in mosaic tile that I thought was gorgeous, using it as a backsplash in a kitchen. And for a rental property, it would get really dirty with all that grout and all those different angles. You never want to do that. I used polished concrete on a property that I remodeled recently. It looked great, but it's just way too delicate. Or even at the gold department, which we documented on this YouTube channel and on our TV show, we were going to put in river rock in the shower, 
but we decided that that wouldn't be a good idea because it would be too hard to clean. So what we ended up doing is we put in loose river rock so you could take it out, clean it, and then put the river rock back in. Tip number five, I would suggest staging or furnishing an apartment if possible. And let me be clear, this isn't a steadfast rule. You don't have to do this. But in a lot of markets where I do business, if I have a rental property and I furnish it, I get a huge ROI on that money that I spend on the furniture. Also, if you've got a property that's and I know, I know, I know. I know that staging is hard to do when you're doing a flip that's 150 grand or 200 grand, but if you can at least do some small stuff in the kitchen, maybe a little dining area or living room, do one bedroom and at least one bathroom, it's gonna be far better than just leaving it empty. Slumlord, what would you go with for your furniture? This one is 4,000 cheaper than the other white one is. But these are plastic. Yeah, it's furniture though. So you put- It works. <laughs> so, newbie Nicole, you've brought me to a completely different store for your furniture. Of course. Wow, okay. So tell me what you've selected. I've selected this leather sofa, this leather couch, Woo. because it's very fancy and it will match definitely with the red. That's going to be very expensive though. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's very comfortable and very pretty. It looks like everything in this store is very comfortable, very pretty, but also really, really expensive. Oh, look, there's a dog. I would definitely buy this dog. It's a very, very nice decoration. Okay. So you'd buy this dog as artwork in your house? Yes. Okay. The only dog I care is the hot dog. This time we started with Slumlord Sebastian. And you can see what he picked out was just that white plastic furniture that you put in your yard. I actually think I had something like that in my dorm room in college, but we know that's completely ridiculous. We go over here to newbie Nicole, and she went to a really amazing store. They had some beautiful furniture in there, but it was way too expensive and it was very fragile. You can imagine if you're using that for staging or if you use it on a rental property, like an Airbnb, that leather couch would get ruined in two months. And you're looking for furniture that not only is relatively inexpensive, but very durable and is gonna look good. And then we finish the scene with newbie Nicole and Slumlord Sebastian telling us exactly what they think about dogs. <laughs> And this is the moment you've all been waiting for, the bonus tip. And I can tell you right now, guys, honestly, this is probably the best and most important tip I can possibly give you when it comes to remodeling. To show you what I mean, let's cut to the renders and the finished product of the kitchen at the Gold Apartment. I cannot tell you how many times I have walked into a project midway through with Joaquin or Angie, and I've said to myself, wow, okay, I want you to do this, this, and this, that's gonna look great. Or Joaquin says, what should we do with this closet? I say, well, let's design it like this, that'll look great. Or Angie comes in and she says, what do you think about this backsplash, putting this tile here? And I say, oh, I think that would look great. They come in, they do the work, I come back in to check the work, I look at it, and I say to myself, this looks terrible. And it's all my fault. Because what it looked like in real life didn't match what I had in my head. So the bonus tip that's super, super important, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money, and it's gonna help your rentals rent faster and your flips sell quick. That is remodel, to the render. Always do a render first and then remodel specifically 
to that design or that drawing. The next thing I want everyone to do is check out this video that will put the top right hand corner. That's a quick hack that's super easy and it's gonna help you take your game to the next level. After that, I want you to check out this video in the lower right hand corner. And that's a vlog episode where I go to Adeo and pick out finishes for one of my recent remodel projects. So you can see me in real life put into practice everything that we talked about on this last video. You're gonna love it.